good afternoon from Disney's Hollywood Studios. On May 1st, Disney's Hollywood Studios celebrated their 30th anniversary. And because of that, they released a bunch of treats celebrating the 30th anniversary. So we're here today to try 10 treats celebrating Disney's Hollywood Studios 30th anniversary. We're gonna start out heading down Sunset Boulevard. As we walk towards the Tower of Terror, we're gonna turn to our left here and head into Sunset Ranch Market. And our first stop is here at Catalina Eddie's for this lemon cheesecake verine. I don't exactly know what that word means, but we're gonna try it anyways. It does look delicious. So this was $4.99 before tax, after tax, $5.32. No discounts available at this location, but this is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. When I saw the picture online, it kind of looked like a shot glass, but it's like the size of my hand here. So it's pretty large. And this is lemon cheesecake with some blueberries on top. Here we go. Boom. Okay, that's very cheesecakey, like a very like creamy cheesecake texture. And it's got these uh, little crunchy pearls on top. Okay, add like a nice crunchy texture to it. So the blueberries are very fresh and add like a nice little layer to it because it's kind of, it is a lemon cheesecake. So there's a lot of lemon flavor in it, but then you get the blueberries on top and it kind of adds just another little like kick on top of the lemon flavor. It's good, but I have a feeling that it's gonna be very difficult for me to eat all 10 of these items. So. Here's to number one. Now that I've gotten a little bit further into it, I noticed that the lemon flavor is not actually in the cheesecake part. It's in this like lemon custard type stuff down here. These little crunchy balls are basically just cereal, like a crunchy cereal. They don't have any other flavor to them. Basically like putting Rice Krispies in your cheesecake. And I asked some of the cast members here at Catalina Eddie's how to pronounce it, and they said it was Varane. So. I don't know. That's what I'm gonna call it from here on out because that's what they told me it was. So this is a delicious brain. Ooh, I just got down to the bottom and there is an extra bit of blueberries down there. That's a nice little surprise. From Catalina Eddie's, we make a quick turn to the left. And now we're at Rosie's All-American Cafe where we're going to get the Key Lime Varane and the Seasonal Cupcake, which is actually a Kylo Ren cupcake. So there they are, the two desserts that I got from Rosie's All-American Cafe, the Key Lime Varane and the Kylo Ren cupcake. Wow, they look pretty intense. I kind of love this Kylo Ren cupcake and I think it's peanut butter. I'm gonna look online and see what is in it because they didn't have anything on the menu that tells me what is in any of these. I know that this one's key lime, but I don't know what kind of cupcake this is. Also, here was the prices of everything. The key lime was $4.99 and the cupcake was $5.99. All that they say online about it is that it is peanut butter and chocolate cupcake but I can tell that it has these candy rocks on it, which are just like chocolate rocks, and a gigantic Kylo Ren chocolate head on top, which I think I need to eat the cupcake first because it kind of looks like it's starting to melt. I am a little bit confused as to how to eat this. I think I'm just gonna like eat Kylo Ren's head first. So here we go. Okay, what's gonna go? His face is super hard to bite through. So Kylo's head is very difficult to eat. His like cape part is very easy, it's just chocolate. But I don't know what's going on with his head. It's like super chewy and super hard. It kind of actually hurt my teeth. So let's try just some of the frosting and the chocolate rocks and the actual cupcake here. Oh wow. That is delicious. Oh man, super peanut buttery, but like also a little bit sweet. So you know how when you're eating a peanut butter dessert, like a peanut butter cake or a peanut butter pie, it's like a moussey type peanut butter. That's what this frosting tastes like. And I think what they do is they mix powdered sugar with peanut butter to make it like a little bit creamier. Super good. The, uh, the cupcake itself is super spongy and like chocolatey. Delicious. I do think that it's gonna be very sweet. I'm gonna try to eat the head again, the Kylo Ren's head one more time, because it's like, kinda have to get through this. That's the, that's the top of the cupcake, but I, I can't. So I just started eating it with a spoon. Can we just talk about how dense that cupcake looks? Holy macaroni. Although after eating solely just the cupcake part, it's a very spongy cake. Kinda like light and fluffy. I like that. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to take a break from trying to eat this Kylo Ren cupcake, because although it is delicious, it is very difficult to eat. And we'll move on to the Key Lime Pie Varane. That was kind of strange. 
I really like key lime pie, but this doesn't have the flavor of a fresh key lime pie. It almost has the flavor of like, I don't know, like some, like they like tried to make the flavor of key lime in a lab and then they put it in there. I know, it's not very refreshing. It's kind of, I don't know. I don't like it at all. Let me try another bite. It seems like there's another flavor in there other than key lime. Like, you know, I don't know if you guys have ever had a key lime pie, it has like this certain sweet tartness, like it kind of gives you a like, kick in the mouth that makes it a little bit more refreshing to eat. But, I don't know, it didn't have that. It kind of has like a little bit of like, uh, like sour mix, where it kind of gets the back of your throat rough feeling rather than like a nice smooth, sweet, sour taste. It has like, something that is not enjoyable. So, Kylo Ren cupcake was delicious, but hard to eat. Key lime pie, easy to eat, not so delicious. And so from Rosie's and Catalina Eddie's, we head back out to Sunset to Fairfax Fair. Here we are getting the Tres Leche Varein. Looks pretty good. It looks like it's got some strawberries on it. And we did learn today that Tres Leche is a sponge cake that is soaked in three different kinds of milk. So the perfect thing for a hot day, I guess. This is the last Varane, I promise. And this one is the same price as the other two, $4.99 before tax, $5.32 after tax. Looks delicious, looks nice and simple. Some milk substance down here, whipped cream and fresh strawberries. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Well, the strawberries and whipped cream are delicious. I don't know that I actually got any tres leche in there. Ooh, it's super, like, there's just milk in it. Wow, that is just a super creamy concoction of milk. Three different kinds of milk. I don't think that this is going to be a good idea for such a hot day like it is today. It is, right now, 85 degrees outside. Yeah, look at that. It's basically just milk. Oh, man. It's kind of interesting, though, because... Uh, not only does the milk just like coat the inside of your mouth, but it doesn't have as thick of a flavor as just straight up milk. So it's kind of interesting. If I were just sitting here drinking a glass of milk, I feel like it would just be so thick. And this stuff, although it is three different kinds of milk, it's not as thick. It still is coating the inside of my mouth. So I kind of have like this little like flavor inside, not flavor, like feeling inside of my mouth texture, but not as much as I would if it were just like regular milk. The other thing that I'm noticing about the actual spongy cake is that it's not as spongy as say like the Kylo Ren cupcake was. It's a little bit more kind of like crumbly, which I don't know if that's a product of it being soaked in milk or if that's the way that it's made. I know that if I'm eating like an angel food cake, it's super spongy and that way it can soak up the flavor of the strawberries and the whipped cream. But with this, although the flavor is soaked in, I feel like it's not thick enough or spongy enough to hold all of the liquid. Like I showed you guys, the liquid was coming out of the cake. Still, it's a delicious flavor, and if you like tres leche, I think that you will enjoy this dessert. I do need to stop and get a water after that dessert because that was a very thick. And now we've made our way back to the corner of Hollywood Boulevard and Sunset Boulevard. We're heading into the Starbucks, which is called the Trolley Car Cafe here. And if anybody's wondering where the Starbucks is, there is the front of the park. Here is the Trolley Car Cafe, and then there is the Chinese Theater at the end. So we're headed into the Starbucks. So unfortunately, they do not have the dessert we were looking for at the Trolley Car Cafe anymore. It was listed in one other location, so we're gonna head down to the Baseline Tap House to see if they still have it. So now we are headed past the Chinese Theater in this direction, which good news is we'll be passing by the ABC Commissary and one of the other treats is at the ABC Commissary. So we'll stop by there first, get another treat, making our way to the Baseline Tap House. Here we are at ABC Commissary and okay, today is not turning out to be my day now, is it? All right, let's uh, see what else we can find, I guess, because this location had two treats at it. So I don't know what we're gonna do. Let's see what else we can find. So just past ABC Commissary and just past Sci-Fi Dine-In is Baseline Tap House. Let's see if they've got my treat that I'm looking for. So they don't have it there either. Here's what I'm running into. I'm going off of a Disney Parks blog post saying here are the treats for the 30th anniversary and they say that they're limited time but they don't say how limited it is. So the anniversary was on the 1st and from what I heard from inside of Baseline Tap House, it was only for that week that this particular item, which was a Luxo Ball sponge cake, 
uh, was being offered. And I'm assuming that that's the same for a few of the other ones, but we're gonna be on the search for various other treats that were listed in this Disney Parks blog post to see, see if we can find them. I mean, we found those first Varanes, but they were supposed to also have like a little white chocolate square on the top that said 30th anniversary. They didn't have those, but they still offered the dessert. Let's see what else we can find. So here's what I got at Backlot Express. This is a Minnie Mouse cupcake, and this was $5.29. And the only issue here is that this is probably one of the last days that this will be offered because they were supposed to stop serving it on May the 4th, and then they ordered another batch. So they had them up until today, actually, is when they ran out of the Mickey Mouse cupcakes, and they only have a few of the Minnie Mouse cupcakes left. So. Ah, uh, this stuff is turning out to be very limited as far as the time frame that it's available. So the Minnie Mouse Celebration Cake is a yellow cake with strawberry cream, strawberry marshmallow, and strawberry crispy pearls. This is going to be a very strawberry heavy uh, dessert. It does look good though. It's definitely very Instagrammable. Alright, let's give this Minnie Mouse cupcake a try. not as good as I thought it was gonna be. Very strawberry flavored, but the marshmallow frosting is like, I don't know, you know marshmallow fluff? I was totally expecting a different flavor from the marshmallow. I thought it was gonna taste like icing. It tastes like marshmallows. Like it's super thick, not very creamy, almost chewy. Not like, I don't know, that's really hard to explain. It's almost chewy, it's not exactly chewy, but it is almost chewy. There's a lot of strawberry flavor, which is delicious. And the cake is not as cake-like as I thought it was gonna be. It's a little bit not as fluffy, a little bit thicker, and not as, I don't know, it does, this is not a very good uh, cupcake. Just watching the spoon go through the marshmallow is a good example of what the consistency of it is like. Like, that, it's not frosting like you would imagine. I don't know if anybody will actually be able to get this because they seem to be all out of them, but I don't know that I would suggest getting it. Not my favorite. Ooh, it's starting to look like it might rain here. Hopefully we can get through the next few snacks before the rain hits. So here we are back at the Chinese theater and heading down these steps over here towards Toy Story Land. We're not going actually into Toy Story Land. We are headed over here to Municiburg, or rather not all the way into Municiburg, just outside at the market. Uh, they didn't have the treat at the market either. That was supposed to be a red and black Incredibles macaron. It's not there anymore. They stopped serving that the week of the 30th. So the 30th, was on like a Monday, and then by that Sunday, they stopped serving a lot of these different treats. So I think what this is turning into is what treats are still available for the 30th. All right, so there are two more places for us to look for some of these snacks. Maybe they'll be around, maybe they won't be. Let's have a look, see what we can find. So we're back over here on Sunset because one of the treats that was available at ABC Commissary was also supposed to be available over here at the Phantasmic Carts. So we're gonna have a look and see if they have it over here. And then also we're on the lookout for some Star Wars lightsaber churros. Now the lightsaber churros were available at special events, but the 30th anniversary was the first time that the Star Wars lightsaber churros were available to the general public during normal operating hours. So maybe they're still around. We're gonna look at a few churro carts and see if we can find them. So unfortunately the Sorcerer's Mickey Hat Cake was only available at ABC Commissary, which is closed, and the Phantasmic carts, which don't open until nine o'clock tonight for Phantasmic. More than likely, they probably don't have it, but we're not gonna be here at nine o'clock to find out. So. Let's see if we can find those churros. So far, I've been to two of the churro locations, Pretzel Palooza and when we were back at Pixar Place at the market, neither one has the lightsaber churros. So I don't think that they have them anymore. Well, all in all, it looks like we were able to find about five of the snacks left over from Disney's Hollywood Studios 30th anniversary. And I think that only about four of them will be available after today because the Minnie Mouse cupcake that we tried, which wasn't that good to be honest, uh, I think they're gonna end up selling out of those either today or tomorrow. This has been an interesting day for sure. So there you have it, that was our trip to Disney's Hollywood Studios to try to get some treats from the 30th. Didn't really work out in our favor. We still had a great day though because we were at Disney and we got to eat a bunch of snacks. We got about five of the snacks out of the 10 that I wanted to try. Still, a great day. So if you are interested in trying some of these limited time snacks, although the blog post didn't say how limited they were, I would try to get them as soon as you know about them because 
seems like these are being extremely limited. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi, I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Tom. And now it's time to pay the price.